Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Argo CD CLI. We have been looking at Argo CD in the last four or five videos and how to install Argo CD and how to deploy your application in Argo CD. Sorry, how to deploy your application through Argo CD. And now let's look at how we can use Argo CD command line interface to create app and manage your applications and so on. All right. So um, I've got my Kubernetes cluster running here. And if I do kubectl get nodes, so I've got uh, my three node cluster version 1.18.6. I've also got kubectl n, Argo CD, get all. I've deployed Argo CD, it's all running fine. And I've also logged in, sorry, I've also opened my Argo CD web interface. Uh, let me log in. Username is admin, and the password is the name of the Argo CD server. So it's that one. And if I go to the web interface, admin, the password we just copied. Okay, so we are logged into the web interface and we are here. We've got our Argo CD running. So the first thing is to download the Argo CD tool, the Argo CD binary. So I'm going to go to my web browser and I'm going to search for Argo CD GitHub. And the first link here, Argo dash CD, and I'm going to go to the releases page. And the latest release is 1.7.6. And further down, you get a link to download the binaries for uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. So I'm going to copy that one, copy the link address, and I'm going to download that. So wget, paste that, and I'm going to save that as Argo CD. Okay, so we've got that. Change mode, plus X, Argo CD. And I'm going to move Argo CD to user local bin. And now if I do which Argo CD, we've got Argo CD under user local bin. So we've got Argo CD uh, downloaded, the binary downloaded. The first thing to do is we need to log in uh, to the server before we can do anything. So we've logged in. In the web interface, we've logged into the Argo CD server. The same thing, we need to do it from the command line as well. Okay, so if you want to know more about any of the commands in Argo CD, you can always use the help command, help option, Argo CD help. So the list of available commands you've got to deal with the accounts, to deal with the app, you've got the subcommand app, cluster, repo, login, logout, uh, default projects, uh, version, we saw that. Okay, the first thing, let's take a look at Argo CD cluster list. Okay, so what you see here is an error because we need to authenticate. We need to log into the uh, Argo CD server be before we can run any commands, right? So how do you log into the Argo CD server? I've got kubectl get nodes minus o wide. So because I'm running Argo CD service as a node port service, so if I do kubectl minus n Argo CD get all. Okay, so you can see here my Argo CD server you might have seen this from my previous video. I've exposed that as a node port service. So basically I can access Argo CD service from any of the worker nodes or any of the nodes in your cluster. So I've got the IP address of the nodes here and on this port, the node port. So the way to log in is, and even if you look in my URL here, so 172.18.4, 18.0.4, and the port is 31374, which is this one, 31374. And I've logged in using this IP address. So let's do that. Uh, let's do the same thing from the command line. Argo CD, and the first command is to use the login. Argo CD login, let's use that IP address. Colon, I need to have a space there. And the port number. So that's the very first command that you need to be running before you can run any Argo CD command. You need to log into the Argo CD service, okay? So it's going to give us a warning, as you can see here, because it's using a self-signed certificate. And if I exit and clear my screen, let me do that again. And you can see here, and you've got an option to uh, press Y to accept the uh, certificate and then continue with the login. And the username is admin. And the password is the name of the Argo CD server, which I'm going to show you how to change the password. But now the password is the name of the uh, the Argo CD server part, which I don't remember. So I'm going to do kubectl minus n Argo CD get all. And the password is this one Argo CD dash server and that one. Let me copy that. And now I'm going to 
login again so if you don't want to see that warning about the insecure um, server certificate you can pause this option minus minus insecure and now the username is admin password is the one we copied and there we go we've logged in now so now we should be able to see our go cd cluster list so that's the default cluster the the kubernetes cluster where we have our argo cd deployed and you can do argo cd project list argo cd repo list the repositories argo cd app list list of applications and so on okay so we've successfully logged in and to log out it's the same command argo cd log out but again you need to specify the the server the Argo CD server to log out. Okay, so we've logged out now. And if I do Argo CD app list, you won't be able to do that unless you log in. Okay, so you you also have an option to pass the username and password on the command line. Let's do that. Argo CD login insecure minus minus username is admin minus minus password is the one that we copied. No, that's not the one. Yep, and press enter straight away you are logged in so that's how you log into argo cd using the command line so we are now logged in and if i do argo cd app list we don't have any apps and even in the web interface we don't have any apps and we don't have any repositories we have just one project that's the default project and we have one cluster in cluster which is the cluster we are running argo cd now and you can see basically see the same information from here argo cd cluster list that's the cluster argo cd project list the, the only project we've got is the default project if you want you can create additional projects argo cd project create my project that's done argo cd project list so there we go we've got this new project that we created and if i go in here and if i go to the projects now you see this new project my project here okay so the first thing i wanted to do once i logged into argo city is to change my uh, password the password for the admin user account so if you followed my earlier videos i must have mentioned that there's no option in the web ui to change uh, to create a new user or to change the password or anything so i've logged in now i can log out i can log in and here user info i've logged in as the admin user and in here accounts i can see that's the admin account and i've got few options but i don't have any options to change the password so in order to change the password um, we need to rely on the command line okay let's do that let me clear my screen and argo cd help so we have this account sub command that we're going to be using to deal with uh, the accounts like updating the password and so on Okay, let's see what subcommands are available for the account command. Argo CD account help. Okay, Argo CD account uh, can I? So that's something like if you want to check if you have some privilege to do something, you can use that command. You can generate a new token, get account details, get user info, list the accounts, update password. So we will be using the update password command. But let's try the other ones. Argo CD account get user info. So that's going to give you the details about the currently logged in user. So the currently logged in user is admin. You, you, you don't see much information, but just some rudimentary information about the user that's currently logged in. And you can also do Argo CD account get details about a particular user account. We only have one user account admin okay enabled capabilities login okay fine so now we are going to use the update command to update the password all right so let's do that for that we need to know the current password so let me check yeah i've still got my uh, current password in the clipboard so i should be able to use that argo cd let me clear my screen argo cd account update password okay so enter the current password i'm going to paste the password enter the new password admin new password admin okay password is updated so now let's log out argo cd log out okay now let's try to log back in argo cd login with the same password that we used previously so this is going to error out yep that's erroring out and the new password that i set is admin and now we are logged in successfully argo cd 
project list and everything is working fine and if I go in here log out and now I can log in with my new password which is admin yep I can log in I can uh, see everything here okay so now let's do something else Argo CD help we saw the login logout we've created a new project um, repository if you want to add a new repository like here going to going into the repository connect using SSH or using HTTPS so that's like adding your new repository um, creating a new application let's see one by one what we can do from the Argo CD CLI okay app account all right let's see how to create a new application Argo CD app list so we don't have any application at the moment so let's create one application Argo CD app create and uh, give it a name Argo CD dash demo and we need the repository okay so before that if you want to know more details or if you want to see some examples of how to create an application you can always uh, check the help documentation Argo CD app and if I do uh, help minus minus help and pipe that to less so the list of commands we have here is Argo CD app create we can create an application delete an application we can see the difference when the when your application goes out of sync you can use the diff command to see what has actually changed you can edit your application get a list of applications um, sync your application and all those things so we will be looking at how to create an application so let's do the same command and check for the help documentation for the create subcommand and you see a few details here so the first let's take the first example here Argo CD the subcommand is app and we're going to create a new app we're going to give it a name and we're going to point it to a repository where we've got our YAML files manifests and the path inside that repository if you've got a uh, YAML stored in a specific directory you need to specify the minus minus path option destination namespace where in your Kubernetes cluster you want to deploy this app you need to specify the namespace destination server is the destination Kubernetes cluster where you want to deploy your app and the directory recurse option is like if you've got your manifest buried under different subdirectories and if you want Argo CD to traverse all those subdirectories and deploy all the manifest you need to pass in this option okay so that's a very simple um, example let's try that so already I've got my um, repository here Argo CD dash demo and I'm going to be using this directory here YAML's directory and I've got a couple of resources um, nginx service and an nginx deployment so that's what we're going to be deploying all right so kubectl get all the default namespace I don't have anything at the moment so I'm going to create an app Argo CD app create give it a name Argo CD demo minus minus repo is https github.com slash just me and open source slash Argo CD demo and in my github repository I've stored all my manifest in the YAML subdirectory so minus minus path is YAML minus minus destination namespace is default and we also need to specify which cluster we want to deploy our app to so that's destination server and the destination server is your Kubernetes cluster so if I do Argo CD cluster list so that's the name of your uh, cluster so that's your destination Kubernetes cluster where you want to deploy your app okay let me uh, run the command again Argo CD app create Argo CD okay so that's the uh, the command that we need to be running Argo CD app create name and the repository subdirectory namespace and the Kubernetes cluster so if I hit enter it's going to create the app okay so that's done and I can do Argo CD app list so we've got that app now and you can see here the status is out of sync and health is missing sync policy is set to none so we haven't uh, set the sync policy to auto or automatic so we need to manually sync it so now if I go to the web interface you can already see the Argo CD demo app that we created from the command line and it's out of sync okay so back in the terminal 
and we're going to be doing Orgo CD app sync and the name of the app that we've got so Orgo CD demo okay so once you do that and if you do then if you do Orgo CD app list you can see here status is sync and health is healthy and in the web interface you can see that our apps are all running fine and I can do kubectl get all and our nginx pod is running that's our nginx service nginx deployment and everything is looking fine okay or go cd app list and if you want to look at the details of a particular app you can use Orgo CD app get and the name of the app and there we go so name of the app the uh, project it's been deployed to the Kubernetes cluster namespace and uh, the status whether it's healthy whether it's synced and all those details and these are the list of resources that uh, this app deployed okay so there is also this command Orgo CD app uh, list okay we've saw we've seen that Orgo CD app resources and uh, if you specify the name of the app it's going to list you all the resources contained within that app okay so we've got that and if you want to delete it Orgo CD app delete Orgo CD demo and that's gone Orgo CD app list so that's gone kubectl get all and that's gone and back in here the application is gone we don't have any repositories or anything okay so that's how you deploy your application using Orgo CD CLI um, from the command line it's going to be very easy very simple and always um, you can look at the help documentation account to change the so the first thing I I would do normally is to change the uh, the password um, and then you can use the app command you've got various options various subcommands that you can use with the app subcommand orgo cd app minus minus help less okay so you can create delete difference edit get history list and all those things so i'm going to leave all these subcommands with you uh to try and i think that's all i wanted to show you in this video i meant uh, this video to be very quick just to show you some basic examples and then leave you to try out all the other options that you want and give this a try let me know if you've got any questions i'll be happy to help and make sure to subscribe to my channel i will see you all in my next video Bye bye